So you'll notice when you first get your trap that it's got this protective film around it. So the first thing we need to do is peel it off. We've got the cover plate here, which is uh, what makes the trap legal. This hole here is 50 mil diameter, so this is the uh, the legal limit in Victoria. New South Wales is a little bigger, but we've made it for Victoria and then can be used in New South Wales as well. So let's peel off this protective layer. So I've just taken the cover plate off. You know, it's a nice, decent sized hole where you can get your hand in, um, pull, your, pull your mullet out. The edges have been cleaned up a little bit, so there's no sharp edges there. You might notice, and a couple of people who have have purchased these traps have, have said to us like oh my traps all scratched you might know so I don't know whether you can pick it up there but there's some little light scratches all on this surface now one of the one of the reasons why this trap works so good is because of the clarity of the material the, the clearer the trap the better it works this is actually a protective film that is almost impossible to see We peel that film off and what you're left with is a crystal clear surface. You have a look at that. It's, it's like it's not even there. It's this clarity that makes this trap so successful. So we're going to peel off the rest of the, the layers. We've got the cover plate. We've started to peel that off. Now it's crystal clear. We'll peel off the bottom layer as well. We'll put it back together and we'll see if we can get ourselves some bait for tonight's fishing session. So we're going to bolt that cover plate back on now and we have ourselves a crystal clear bait trap. Really well made, 6mm material, very tough. What we do, what we do recommend is once you've uh, expose all the surfaces like this is that we want to keep this as scratch free as we can so we recommend when you're traveling when you're in the boat uh, we wrap a towel around it just try and protect those surfaces from any scratches the longer you can keep it like this the more effective it's going to be let's bolt this cover back on and let's get it out there and see if we can get ourselves some bait for the fishing session Right, there's the cover plate reinstalled. Just loosen it off a little bit. Put it into its position. Just a little, just a little sit nib, not very tight at all. And that's how we're going to use our trap. We're going to get some breadcrumbs in there. We're going to put it out there. We want to show you what it's like out there. There's not a heap of mullet around, but you need to see the mullet. And um, we have seen a few out there, so let's hope we can get some. So we've got our trap. We're going to we're picking a little sandy area here. Look, you can see how deep it is. It's probably a little bit deeper than what we would normally put them at. But there's a bit of weed in the shallower and the tide is going out now. So we've seen a few mullet in the sands over there. They're going to come through. The beauty of the breadcrumbs is, you can see the breadcrumbs in the bottom there, is when we put this in, these breadcrumbs are going to float. They're going to spew out the top and create like a burly trail to bring the mullet to us. So we'll place it in. open and make it a little quicker to for that water to fill up. And there's our burly coming out. We've got the little bleed holes on each side. I'm just going to let that last little bit of air out. And the other good thing about the 100% clear acrylic is that it sinks. Not like your bottles where you have to weigh them down. We do recommend you do put something in if you're going to use them in a current, but in nice still waters like here, in Port Phillip Bay, no problems. We're just going to push a little bit of burley out there, put the cover back on, walk away. I'm going to leave this for about 15 minutes and come back and see what we've got. We're standing a little bit too close to our traps. We recommend you get away from them, but we just wanted to show you What's happened now is all the mullet have come around the top of the trap. So when we've pushed that in, that burley's spewed out the top. Those mullet are now coming in and cleaning up that bit of burley. Once that's like, all that's gone, they're going to be looking for some more. It just takes one mullet to go inside that trap. It may take five minutes, it might take ten minutes. 
but once one goes in, it's follow the leader. They're going to be going in there left, right and centre, and that trap, you can see there, there's probably a hundred mullet around there at the moment. Once one goes in there and starts kicking up that breadcrumbs, she's going to be full in no time. This is looking really promising. It's a beautiful morning too. So we've had the trap in for probably 15 minutes. We've seen mull all around it, and we know some have gone in there. We've, we've seen them. As we said, once one goes in, they'll start following the leader. They'll be full in no time. We're at Sandringham. This is Sandringham Marina in Port Phillip Bay. Um, so, and we've caught them in Mallacoota and estuaries in the room are all up through the through New South Wales like this. But we've actually never tried them in Port Phillip Bay like this, just at a, at a beach. So the tide was high maybe two hours ago. So we've still got some nice. Uh, sand showing, perfect day, no wind, bit of sun, early morning. Let's go out and have a look. This trap looks like it's chockers. Oh yes, look at that. You actually see there's actually almost no breadcrumbs left in there now. So they've either been eaten or pulled, kicked out. That is full as. You don't want many more than that in there. There could be 200 fish in there. That's that's unreal. We'll go through these and sort out the sizes. We'll, we'll get rid of some of those small ones, but there's some really good baits in there for Jews. And like I said, with this with this area, anywhere from Beaumont to Brighton, if you've got a boat on a low tide, just go out in amongst the weed edges and the sand the low tide all these mullet are dropping off into that little channel and you can get some really good blue spot flathead and we've done that quite a few times too so look at that you see like i said there's hardly any breadcrumbs left in there but there is a lot of mullet in there almost too many we've got to start getting some of them out before they crush each other it's a really good size ones too look at some of those ones in the middle there Get the cover back for easy access to get them out. Let's have a look at some of the sizes. Well, that's it, guys. We've put out, we've probably kept maybe oh, only a percentage of those fish, some of the better ones. This is our reel in deluxe bait trap. You can check out some more videos on YouTube at Reel It In and contact us on Facebook if you want to purchase one. They are unreal, and as we said, it's the clarity. You can't get this kind of uh, clarity out of your bottles. And we've, we've used them in the past, but these just blitzed. That was, there was too many in that. So maybe we should have left it a bit, even a bit shorter time and grabbed them. So you get the Reel It In Deluxe Bait Trap. Beautiful.